Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you some mixed media love cards using a master board. So first of all, I'm using an A4 piece of card and I'm just cutting it down to size. I'm then going to use my scoreboard to score the cards in half. These make my card bases. I am now going to make my master boards and I'm using an A4 piece of stamping card and I'm going to use my Distress Paint Blueprint Sketch and I'm just applying this paint onto the card with a paintbrush. I'm now going to use my white gesso and I'm going to use mix this with the blueprint sketch to make a paler blue. So I'm literally just slapping the paint on in no particular order, just pretty much random. And I'm actually doing three backgrounds on A4 card. Next I'm going to use my Mermaid Lagoon Salty Ocean and Broken China Distress Paints and again I'm just doing random strokes with my paintbrush over the A4 card. I am now using a wet wipe to blend the colours together. I then dry this layer and use my lightest blue and with my finger I'm just applying the paint to the card. Once the paint has all dried I then use my Paper Artsy Stamps ETS04 and I'm going to use my gesso to stamp this image. So I'm using some gesso with a bit of cut and dry foam, which I use as a stamp pad to apply the paint to the stamp. I then stamp the image. Once you've finished doing this, it is essential that you go and wash your stamp so that the paint doesn't dry onto your stamp. I then use my archival forget-me-not ink to stamp another image onto the background randomly. Next I use my archival potting soil ink with my background text stamp called Daisy Daisy and apply this randomly all over the background. So here I'm looking and decide that the blue ink that I used in the background was a bit too pale so I'm now going to use my shadow grey archival ink to repeat the stamping over the pale blue. I then use my Paper Artsy Stamps EEG 13 and I'm using the paint again and the cut and dry foam as an ink pad to apply the paint onto the stamp and then onto the background. I then use my layer perfect tool just to measure and cut the background so that the background piece will fit neatly onto my card base. I am now going to use my festive red deco art metallic paint and I'm just going to use a paintbrush to paint the whole of this piece of card red. Mm -hmm. 
once the paint has all dried, I then use my Ranger Archival Jet Black ink to stamp the hearts onto the card. I then use my food ball pen just to fill out any of the detail that was missed with my stamping. I then use my Penny Black Every Which Way stamps and I'm just using the I Love You stamp from this which I'm going to use with my Archival Jet Black ink pad and I'm just going to stamp the I Love You onto every single heart. I'm now going to use my Fine Onyx Black ink pad to stamp the quote that I'm going to use on each of the cards. I am now going to use my glossy accents over the top of every love heart. Now to use this you need to shake it down to make sure you've got no air bubbles in it and I am just going around the outline of the heart and then you just fill in the rest. If you do find that you have some air bubbles in your glossy accents just use a pin to pop them otherwise the air bubbles will dry in place. I'm now going to use my archival potting soil ink and my blending foam and tool to go around the outside edge of all the cards to give them a distressed feel. I'm now going to use my Faber-Castell Pit Pen Dark Sepia to go around the outside edges of my heart so that the white bits are all covered up. I'm now using my Jet Black Archival ink again just to stamp the little dots randomly all over the background. I then use my scissors to cut out my quote. I'm now just using some black cotton and I'm just randomly pulling this out and scrunching it up to stick under my heart. I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick this heart onto my base and just pulling out the threads here and there just to make it stick out around the edges. Once that's dried I then stick on my quote and I'm using my uni pin pen to go around the outside edge of my quote. I then use my double sided tape and my cosmic shimmer acrylic glue to stick my background piece to my card base. And that is this card all finished. I did a batch make these cards and they are available to buy on my website. I will leave a link in the description box below. If you would like to buy any of the products I have used in this video they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link also in the description box below this video. 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.